On April 1st, I put out a comically bad tutorial for a comically bad cobblestone farm, and at the end teased that an actually good version was coming. Except we won't be covering this version because I found something better. Today I present to you the creeper based blast chamber, but good this time. No witches, and not even obsidian. Plus, the creepers are exploded mid-air, which allows for maximal efficiency. There's two parts of the blast chamber we need to protect from the explosions. The snow golem that aggroes the creepers, and the blocks. For the snow golem, your first thought may be to protect it with a bunch of blocks. Unfortunately, while that can greatly reduce the damage, it doesn't prevent damage entirely. Besides, the creeper won't attack if it can't see its target. Instead, we get to use a little-known detail about creepers and distance. Most of the time, you're either close enough to a creeper to take damage, or far enough away that it cancels the attack. But there's actually a small window where it explodes without causing any damage. The window is pretty small though, so the redstone that times the drop does some extra work to make sure it's perfectly consistent. As for the blocks, here we have a sphere of every block that could possibly be affected. Most of the equipment is out of range, but these three blocks are not. However, cobblestone is relatively strong, so it has to be a lot closer to ever get broken. Which means all the blocks are also safe, without any need for obsidian. A couple of other details, we have the snow golem perched to the side here. This makes sure that when the creeper is below it, its snowballs always hit the glass and never the creeper. We also have this glass right here, so the snow golem waits until the creeper is closer before attacking, which helps its aim. The one big downside of using creepers is that when a creeper explodes, only one third of the blocks actually drop as an item. That's why you never have enough blocks to fill in creeper holes. And unfortunately for most applications, this is simply unacceptable. However, for cobblestone and basalt, this isn't really a big deal, because generating large amounts of these blocks isn't exactly difficult. Especially on bedrock where we can force stick the lava into flowing a lot faster. In its current state, the blast chamber can reach up to 15,000 cobblestone per hour, assuming you can provide it 950 creepers per hour. And there's still a couple more improvements I might apply in the future. But where's the creeper farm you might ask? Well, the thing is, Mojang recently put out a preview for the next update that made it so every current creeper farm will need to be redesigned. They're not trying to nerf them or anything, just one of those changes with unfortunate side effects that they finally pulled the plug on. As if that wasn't enough, they also gave TNT a 100% drop rate. Very welcome change, don't get me wrong, but it also makes a creeper-powered cobblestone farm only good for style points. Also at the same time, a couple more cavities reached full, which means I'm now always in pain. Please help me reach monetization, I don't like being held back on trying to make good videos for you guys. Anyways, I'm not going to make a tutorial right now because I don't want someone to make the mistake of actually building it when we already know it'll break soon. But despite the TNT change, I'm still planning to put out a tutorial after the 1.21 update, though if people want it sooner, knowing full well it's going to break, I'm not opposed to making that happen. World download in the description, which also contains a lot of other tech, including the really bad cobblestone farm. But most importantly, yeah, uh, wait, I forgot to make a flag. Most importantly, Trans rights are human rights.